Hi everyone, it's me. <laughs> oh, what? Do you see that, you guys? Does my shirt say, hi everyone, it's me? Okay, this is a little freaky. I'm definitely freaked out at this. This is like definitely something I say all the time. I don't know why it's on my shirt, so I'm just gonna go change. I'll be right back. Okay, that was so weird. No way. This shirt says booty on it? Who else in the world says booty except for me? Was this clothing like designed like just for me? What the heck? Fun factor? No repeats? That is literally all stuff that I say. <laughs> so if you haven't guessed it already, I just released my first ever merch line. Ah, I am so excited, can you tell? I have designed everything in this merch collection myself, so everything is made from my heart. I've just shown you a couple of the pieces in this little funny skit that I just tried really hard to do, but we've got a lot of cute shirts, we've got tank tops, we've got bags, tote bags, water bottles, mason jars, because who doesn't love a good mason jar? I have made all the designs to be like super minimal. I don't have my name on any of it because I don't know, I, I would find it weird to like buy merch from someone else that has like their name on it and like wear a shirt with someone else's name on it. So I basically just designed my merch to be clothing that I would like to wear personally. So it's all great style. I hope you guys like it too because I definitely love every single piece that I have designed in this collection. So yeah, if you would like to check it out, the link will be in the description box below and it will be linked on all of my future videos so you don't forget. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. If you watch my videos and like and comment and all that sort of thing, you guys are the ones that got me here and made this possible and I hope you check out my merch and support that as well and the good news does not end there because we have just launched our merch store for the first time it's brand new there's actually a 15% off sale on everything in my whole merch store and that sale will be going on for two whole weeks so you have two weeks to get 15% off and yeah I am so darn excited again I appreciate every single one of you so dang much go check out my merch <laughs> Okay, now it's time to get into the video that you actually clicked onto to watch. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me. So on my I tried to burn 500 calories video, you guys got that video to well over a thousand likes. So today, as promised, we are going to start our 1000 calorie workout testing challenge. So we are going to follow the same structure as all of the other videos in this series and we are going to try three different workouts that claim to burn a thousand calories. Before we get into the workouts, I want to put my usual disclaimers here. Number one, everyone burns calories differently. My body is going to burn calories differently than any other body. The second thing is these calorie trackers that like we wear on our wrists might not always be 100% accurate. So always take these numbers with a grain of salt and then the third thing is I always try to not focus on the calories so much I don't really count calories in terms of my exercise or food outside of trying YouTube challenges I just work out to stay healthy and I gauge how good a workout is by how I feel at the end of it so if you're working out moving your body and having fun that is all that matters but back to the series I like to do these types of videos because a lot of YouTube channels out there put calorie burning claims in the title of their workout videos and I just like to test them and see how accurate they really are. <laughs> so the three workouts we are going to try out in this round are number one by Roberta's Gym. This one is called the 1000 calorie workout cardio full body weight loss and toning. The second workout we are going to be trying is from Fitness Blender and that is their 1000 calorie workout for 2 million subscribers. And then the third Third and final workout we will be trying in this video is from Cardio Party Mashup Fitness and their workout is called Intense 1000 Calorie Workout. So the lengths of these workouts, the first one we're going to try from Roberta's gym is one hour long. The Fitness Blender one is around an 
hour, 20 minutes. And then the cardio party mashup fitness is a full hour and a half. So we're gonna slowly increase the time as we go along. So my predictions and how many calories I'm gonna burn in these workouts. So I have actually tried one of the fitness blender 1000 calorie workouts before. And I think I burned around like 470 calories in it. So for the three of these workouts, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna burn around 400 to 500 calories per workout. Do I even think it would be healthy for my body to burn a thousand calories in one workout? I don't know. I don't think I'd feel really good after that many calories gone. I would definitely have to eat a ton of food to restore all the energy that I burn. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to start with Roberta's gym today. Okay, so we are ready to start the Roberta's gym workout now. I personally have had zero experience with Roberta's gym. I have not tried a single workout from this channel before, but it's pretty big. Like this channel has 3.5 million subscribers and this video has four 4.5 million views. A lot of people have been doing these and I'm going to try it for the first time now. In terms of first impressions, this channel seems kind of bizarre <laughs> to me. So Roberta seems to be, I'm, I'm guessing this character on screen is named Roberta, I don't know, but she's like, she looks like a sim. <laughs> like she's just a full CG person, but I'm always up to trying something new. Um, so we're gonna try this workout and see how it goes. <laughs> Three. Two, one, go. Very interesting. <laughs> Let's talk about this one. Okay, so the entire runtime of the video is supposed to be an hour. So this was supposed to be an hour workout, but I found there were so many breaks in this workout. Like between every single exercise, there was a 20 second to a full one minute break. And each of the exercises were like not intense enough at all to warrant that long of a break. So this workout was reps based. It wasn't like timing based. So you did anywhere between like eight to like 24 reps of one exercise and then there was like a very long timed break after that so I'm gonna be honest with you I skipped maybe like half the breaks just because I was getting so bored and my heart rate kept going down yeah I was getting bored I just wanted to get through the workout I was like I just did 10 jumping jacks I don't need a one minute full break after that so that being said the total runtime oh why is my Apple watch doing stuff 44 minutes and two seconds and that just kind of also shows you how many breaks there were in this workout. Like I didn't even skip every single break. There were more than 16 minutes of break. I really don't think that's necessary. I don't know. And then total calories burned for this one. 208. <laughs> so yeah, not nearly close to a thousand. And I will also have to say the intensity level was not what I expect the intensity level to be in a workout that's advertising that it burns a thousand calories. So yeah, going through this workout, at the beginning I was thinking, oh you know what, maybe this is a good low impact workout. There wasn't really any jumping or anything at the beginning, so I was like, oh it's joint friendly. You know, maybe that's the point of this video. But then like at some point during the video she started jumping and I was like, oh, so it's not a low impact video. I don't really get that. <laughs> so for my intensity rating on this one, I'm going to give it a five. I mean, there were like some okay exercises in there. They were all very like generic. And then for fun factor, I'm gonna give this one a four. I was just really bored the entire way through. I really didn't need like a full minute break at all. And then on top of that, it was like a handful of exercises repeated a bunch of different times throughout the workout. So there were a lot of repeats of these boring exercises as well. And then to top it all off, you're working out with like a sim. I keep calling her a sim because she looks like someone created her in The Sims. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like this really like soulless voice. It sounds like one of those like computer generated like voiceovers But apparently a lot of people do like this channel and this workout like there are a lot of likes and stuff on this video So, you know, maybe it is effective 
for some. I probably won't do another workout from this channel again. I will see you when I try to burn a thousand calories next. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are going to try to burn a thousand calories again. So it is the next day. I was expecting I was gonna have to space these workouts out, like not do them day after day because like I thought they were gonna be so intense, but the one yesterday was just so not intense at all that I am going to try another one today. I don't need a break from yesterday because it was just, it was easy and boring. So today I'm going to try the 1000 calorie workout from Fitness Blender. This one is an hour and 20 minutes long. I've got my water ready. <laughs> Let's do it. So we're gonna start off with arm swing steps. So nice and light. A 60 second water break now. That first section, it was like a five minute warm up, and we've done 15 minutes of hit now. <sighs> I'm so tired and out of breath, as you can see. I'll keep updating you and showing you. <laughs> Okay, we're on our second water break now, so we have another minute. We did another 15 minutes of hit, so we're 36 minutes in so far, and the next section is core, so hit part is done. <laughs> We are done! The total run time for this workout on my watch says one hour, 19 minutes, and 18 seconds. And total calories burned is 467. So it is like really, really close to the other 1000 calorie workout I did from this same channel. Basically, we left off at abs. So in that section, the structure was 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So it was really, really long active sets. There were no repeats, I don't think, in the core section, which I enjoyed. And something else that like I noticed Fitness Blender always does, whenever they do core workouts, they always do a mixture of like abs and also lower back which scientifically is very useful and very good because whenever you're working like one muscle group you should always try to work the opposite thing just to keep a balance it helps prevent injuries it's just overall better for your health and then the next section after that was the strength section which actually requires dumbbells or like any form of weight that section was rep spaced not time so I think we did eight reps for each exercise and then we did two sets for everything yeah that's it and then we ended up with a cool down and stretch which is always very good something I really appreciate about this fitness blender workout is that it's so well-rounded for my ratings on this workout I'm going to give intensity a 9.8 I think it was good I think it was a good level of intensity there's no point in it where I thought I was going to like die or like give in <laughs> but I mean the length and total of this workout just like makes it harder and then for fun factor I'm going to give this one an 8.5 again I really enjoyed Enjoyed it. I thought it was really well rounded. There were some repeats in there, which I could do with a workout with no repeats, but you know, can't ask for everything. <laughs> so, did I burn a thousand calories? No, I didn't. But that is it for this one. I will see you when I try the third workout, which will probably be not tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we have our last chance to burn 1,000 calories today. Today's workout is by Cardio Party Mashup Fitness. I believe this is one of their like signature dance party cardio type workouts, but this one is an hour and a half long. So without further ado, let's just get into this one. Here we go, let's get it started.
wow you guys that is nuts <laughs> that is like full force full intensity for a straight hour and a half <laughs> okay so the total runtime for that one ended up being an hour and 32 minutes and the total calories burned we have reached the closest we have ever reached to our goal here 604 calories <laughs> so that was definitely super super intense like very very cardio heavy the entire thing was just straight cardio. The workout consisted of a warm-up, which was nice, and then we just basically followed her along through like a thousand different songs for an hour and a half. There was one section that was crazy. It was based on like how many sets you can do in 10 minutes. So we rotated through three exercises in that section just like as fast as we could. But yeah, the rest of it was just follow along, follow her kind of style. And then we ended with a cool down, which of course is very, very necessary after a workout of this caliber and length. She was really fun to follow. <laughs> she was really energizing. So the video was basically a recording of a live class. There were people in there. So it had a pretty cool feel. It felt like you were in the class with her for the past over a year. We haven't been able to do fitness classes, so it kind of felt nostalgic to kind of be in that environment again. So it was really fun. For intensity on this one, I'm gonna give it a 10. It was so intense. Like to be able to do cardio, pure cardio for that long, it's a lot. <laughs> and then for fun factor, I'm gonna give this one a nine. Again, she was just such a fun bundle of energy. The style was kind of a mix between like cardio to the music, plus a little bit of dance party, plus a little bit of kickbox. So it was a little mashup of everything. One thing I will have to note, so I always work out barefoot. I grew up as a dancer, so I'm used to like jumping around on my bare feet. But if your feet are not used to that, wear shoes, <laughs> definitely wear shoes. I personally just don't like wearing shoes when I'm working out at home, it just feels weird to be wearing shoes like in my own home but if your feet are very soft and you don't have calluses down there you might get blisters like I even feel kind of sore on my under parts of my foot so definitely shoes are recommended <laughs> for this workout we burned 608 calories so that is pretty dang good we didn't reach a thousand but you know I really didn't expect to reach that I feel like my body would really be dead if I reached a thousand so 600 is good enough for me. <laughs> so that concludes this video. We tried burning a thousand calories three different times. I had a lot of fun doing these workouts. Maybe not the first one, but the second two workouts I definitely enjoyed even though we didn't reach our calorie goal. It doesn't really matter to me to be honest. So yeah, that is it. I will put the stats on screen for now for all three of them. I would definitely recommend either the fitness blender one or the cardio party mashup one. And yeah, that is it for this one. I don't think I want to try any workouts that claim to burn over a thousand calories but if there's any specific like calorie burning workouts you want me to try let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please give me a like and if you don't know what to comment down below just give me a bunch of you know those like sweating emojis those like people sweating just give me a bunch of those if you like me subscribe do that bell thing and I will see you in the next one bye